If you're a landlord and are looking to rent a residential or commercial property in California, you know how important the lease agreement is. Welcome back, Loopers. It's Andrew Chung with DoorLoop. Today, we'll dive into the California Residential Lease Agreement for Rental Properties. A lease agreement sets the foundation for your relationship with your tenant, and it's crucial that it outlines your terms, protects your interests, and provides comprehensive information to prospective tenants. This includes factors like recurring fees, pet policies, termination terms, and more. We'll be breaking down what should be included in your lease agreement to ensure that your rental process runs smoothly. A lease or rental agreement is a contract signed between you, the landlord, and the prospective tenants. It includes all rules associated with inhabiting your rental unit, such as monthly rent payments, the security deposit, recurring fees, and other important aspects. This agreement must also comply with California's landlord-tenant laws. Firstly, you need to understand California's rent control system under the Tenant Protection Act. Landlords can increase rent by 5% annually, plus a local cost of living adjustment of no more than 5% for a maximum increase of 10%. Any refusal by the tenant to pay rent can result in legal action. Next, we have the security deposit. Generally, the security deposit's maximum is used by the landlord to pay for any damage the prospective tenants cause to the property within a particular amount of time. In California, you can charge up to two months' worth of rent as a security deposit. When the rental agreement ends, the landlord must return the money left from the security deposit to the tenant in under 21 days. As a landlord, you must provide a property with basic elements such as heating, cooling, plumbing, and sanitation. If there are any damages to the property that weren't the tenant's fault, you have to provide repairs within a reasonable amount of time, which is usually within 30 days. It's important to note that if the landlord fails to take care of necessary repairs, the tenant may choose to withhold rent or take legal action. Now let's discuss the conditions for lease termination and evictions. The landlord can terminate the contract at will as long as they provide at least 30 days notice. However, if the landlord is working with a fixed-term lease, they may terminate it early with an early termination clause, as well as due to active military duty, a habitability violation, or any other problems. And as for your rights to enter your rental unit, you can do so as long as you notify tenants within 24 hours with a valid reason to enter, or in cases of emergency. Your lease agreement can include a wide range of rules for the tenant like pet rules, party rules, smoking rules, and more. There are also mandatory disclosures that need to be included, such as potential asbestos exposure, mold presence, lead-based paint, pest control sessions, shared utilities, demolition permits, and other specific situations. Creating a lease agreement can be complicated, but there are resources available to help you out. You can download a free rental contract template from DoorLoop and adjust it to fit your needs. Depending on your needs and the property's condition, you may need to work with different documents, such as a standard agreement, monthly agreement, rental application form, roommate agreement, sublease agreement, and commercial agreement. You can also customize your own lease agreement to fit your unique requirements. Using property management software like DoorLoop, you can get your leases created, customized, and e-signed with just a few clicks. This software allows you to save reusable lease templates and autofill attendance details into the right fields. With DoorLoop, you can upload customized lease templates in seconds, then autofill them with all the necessary information. You'll also have access to tenant screening that can be completed in one click. For more information, schedule a free demo today. Click on the link in the description below. Before we get to some frequently asked questions, make sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up so we can get this information to more real estate professionals. And here are some frequently asked questions. Number one is, are tenants protected against discrimination in California? The answer is yes. California has a Fair Housing Act, which prevents the landlord from discriminating against any tenant based on their gender, religion, race, citizenship status, and more. Question number two is, can the landlord change the locks of a property? Unless the tenant asks for it, the landlord is not legally allowed to change the locks as a way to evict the tenant. Question number three, is a verbal agreement legally binding in California? 
Although it's valid, it's always best to go for written documents to prevent any misunderstandings in the future. And question number four, can a landlord evict a tenant even if there isn't a lease? The answer is no. The landlord must provide at least 30 days of notice in case of monthly agreements. Remember, it's always crucial to ensure your lease agreement aligns with state laws and serves your best interest as a landlord while providing clarity to your prospective tenants. Well, that's it for this video. If you want to join a community with other real estate professionals, join our exclusive Facebook community with a link in the description. And to learn more about property management tips, click this playlist here. We'll see you there.